Yeah, hello, welcome. Uh, we're here today uh, to talk a bit about Joomla e-commerce and uh, as the timetable says, uh, Joomla e-commerce done a bit better. And uh, when I say uh, done better, I mean really better uh, because um, we think we've done, a, done several things completely new in a completely new way and I hope uh, that will be interesting for you. Um, just one note about Joomla e-commerce. Uh, we're very happy that there are more and more e-commerce uh, components and extensions coming up for Joomla. Uh, it is important because it makes Joomla more visible, more more recognized as a, as the basis of, of uh, for, for e-commerce. And to be honest, I don't expect that uh, large companies like uh, I don't know will think about Joomla. But when when Joomla is recognized as the basis of an e-commerce system, more and more uh, mid-sized companies uh, will, will use it and I think that's, that's a great thing and the user or the shop builder should choose the, the extension that, that does best what, uh, what he needs and what he wants. <coughs> yeah, back to really better what we want to do. Um, yes, uh, how do we get there or better where do we come from? Um, we come from uh, something in the back. Uh, Joomla e-commerce was nearly only one component. We know it's it's Virtumart. It does, did a great job. Everybody, or most of you know that I come from uh, uh, supporting and and using Virtumart, and sometimes of developing for Virtumart. But uh, it's it was a great solution. It did a lot of things in the in the uh, international sites, uh, currencies, and so on. But it was very difficult, and it was. A lot of it was, was hard coded and and not not that simple to customize. <clears throat> Uh, what we had to do is think about everything Virtumat does and what uh, more, uh, even more what Virtumat does not. And uh, we had to listen, to learn, and to see what others do. Um, and what we learned was uh, from different sources, of course, the most important for sure is the customer, the user of the of the e-commerce system. Uh, but that's the basics. Uh, that that's the basics. What uh, what an e-commerce shop should do. Everybody of you, I, th I think, is is a is an e-commerce customer. All all of you have used e-commerce systems, and what you expect from an e-commerce system is you find the things you're searching for. It's, it should be secure, fast, and so on. <coughs> for more for us, more important was to listen to the shop to, to the shop owners. And the shop owners are no web developers, no designers, no other web gurus. They only have drive their business, sometimes for several years, have a great knowledge of their business, and want to transfer it to the web. And they have uh, they, they have a unique idea about their shop. They want to want to uh, separate from from their from uh, or they have special needs for the products. Uh, want to uh, want to be different than their competitors. Normally, when you search on the web, there are not only you offering one one uh, one product. There are a lot more, and these the shop owners have uh, have such a wide area of of uh, demands for an e-commerce system. Um, what what has to be um, um, addressed by by an e-commerce system? What, what you as a shop builder, as a programmer, have to be able to um, is to build for him. <clears throat> the next one uh, we wanted to learn from is the shop builder. I think most of you, all the programmers, uh, uh, are the shop builders. A customer comes to you and, and wants wants you to build where, uh, an e-commerce website. And uh, you ha or the shop, bu shop builder has has other things in mind when when he wants or he decides for a shopping system for a shopping cart system. He needs a reliable platform. He wants to build it in, in, a, in a timely manner. He wants to build something unique, something where he and the shop owner can be proud of. And uh, he he wants to know how how the things are working, and he wants to know that uh, he can access every part of the the shopping cart system to build something different. <coughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, okay, of course. <laughs> you keep estimated time because that was sometimes a problem with virtual mod. I, <laughs> I have to give in. <clears throat> yes, and of course, learning by doing. Uh, some of you might know we are uh, driving vmexpert.com, virtualmodexpert.com, and over the years now we have had <laughs> a lot of customers with all their different shops and all their different needs and all the different things they wanted to to be added to Virtumart or to, to their shopping cart system and you, you cannot name all on this slide but there is the, the most things uh, the most uh, things we have to cust had to customize were pricing uh, things and uh, of course templating and so on and also, a lot of things uh, that are done after the purchase, after the after the checkout, or during the checkout, other things uh, um, that have to be customized or had to be customized. <coughs> and we are running Joomla component. We are running. Uh, we are in the Joomla universe, and of course, we wanted to learn from Joomla. And the most important thing is why is Joomla, or wh wh what is the the answer to the huge success of Joomla? Of course, it's the community, but most of the end users, uh, I, I think, don't even know about the community. <coughs> um, is it the ease of use? Okay, some may say some may say yes or no. Uh, the nice logo, okay, but I think it's the huge uh, number of, of available extensions. You can do with Joomla nearly whatever you want, and that's uh, something. Most other uh, other systems uh, on the web don't have this huge number of extensions. And uh, if you don't tell anyone, um, of course we have checked other e-commerce systems, what they're doing and uh, what we could take from them or, or learn from them or could do better. Uh, we are in an open source world uh, and open source is to learn from others. And that's uh, what we surely did. Yeah, uh, conclusion, oh, by the way, you see the, the watermark. I've lost some, some images on the way uh, to Kerkrade. I had to uh, download them once again, and there's the watermark. Um, yes, we're not yet ready for the conclu conclusion. Uh, we uh, just want to take a look what we had, the existing components, uh, what I think are um, are full featured solutions, most of them. Uh, they, they have their own templating, some are better, some are uh, not so good, but the, you have, a, have to install a set of modules, plugins, and so on to make, to make a shopping cart website uh, work. Um, our approach is a little bit different. We want to extend Joomla. Um, we want to make a system that is extensible ex itself and uh, open in all directions. And you will see later what I mean in, with all directions. And to use the best of JAD, because the extensions are there and why not use what, what, is, what is there? Uh, can we come to conclusion now? Um, it's still not that simple. We wanted to, to have a basic philosophy. Of course, we don't want to save the world with, with our philosophy, but uh, something we want to keep in mind when we create a, a shopping cart solution. And that's um, sell your products the way you want. And when we say this, we mean sell your, your product the way you want. You decide what your products are and you decide how, how you're selling them, the way uh, the, the e-commerce system should work. <clears throat> there are several things to look at. I don't know, it's, it's very small, but it's just to name the, the most important. It's the card system itself, Joomla, uh, the data, uh, the, the templates, payment systems, internationalization, the workflow, just to name the, the most important when it comes to an e-commerce system. There are some more, but these are the most important things you have to keep in mind when, when you want to create an e-commerce system. Yes, I said before, when we want to extend, extend Joomla, uh, our, our e-commerce system should not be an isolated part, not a, just a component with an item ID. Uh, it should be within Joomla, it should run in Joomla, and should be available anywhere in Joomla. If you, uh, if you call it, it's there, and even template, sh uh, template clubs can uh, make their, their e-commerce template, selling something within the template, because it's just there in Joomla. And the shopping cart system itself, uh, yeah, 
there we had to answer ourselves some some questions. Uh, does a shopping cart system need a template system, or does a shopping cart system need a, need a database structure, or a media manager, or download manager, or user manager, or whatever? Uh, the answer is maybe, but our opinion is not really. Uh, when you when it comes, for example, to a template system, there are a lot of great extensions available uh, for Joomla that do a much better shop, uh, <laughs> much better job than I could create in an e-commerce system when it comes to templating and site layouts and, and so on. When, when you take a look at all these CCKs that are available, they are especially made for this. And when you look at the at the JAD, you may find a lot of them. And uh, as a shop builder or a shop owner, you can you can really decide. What, uh, to choose the extension, what matches your expectations or your needs best. <coughs> well, use the best from the JAD. <laughs> and uh, does a shopping cart extension uh, need its own database structure? Um, that's the most difficult uh, question, because of course you need data, and you need the data structured, you need the data uh, so you can work with it, it should be secure, you, it can be, should be searchable, anything what, what the database makes uh, has to be known somehow. Uh, but still, our answer is, we as actually PHP developers uh, don't know all the, the varieties that can be uh, can can describe uh, products or orders or whatever. So the best thing would be uh, let the shop builder or the shop owner decide how the how the database is structured, how the uh, how the data should be stored. And that's just uh, an example about what uh, how how a product could look like. Um, the question is. Is it all for a product? Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe too much. Uh, it really depends. Um, the, the, oh, we're missing an L. Uh, but, the, but the shop owner knows. Maybe you want to sell only one product with, with uh, one text and you don't need all this stuff. Uh, why do you have to uh, take care of it in, in, your, in your administration and, and configuration? Also, the same with uh, orders, checkout workflow. Um, there are, uh, at Virtual Mat Expert, we, we have learned there are no two shops the same uh, when it's with, with, with all these things. Uh, when it comes to checkout, there are very different needs, also legal needs, where you have to store uh, special confirmations for special products and so on. And when you look at Virtual Mat, it's very hard to, to implement this. Uh, there are other products or shopping carts where it's easier, but still there is a workflow that is mainly hard-coded. Same for countries, tax, legal stuff. Uh, there are so much different different things um, you, to, to build it in, 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 a one, in one extension, it's, it's very hard. And especially this, this uh, legal stuff, uh, we are from Germany, we know what we're talking about. I think Germany is one of the most difficult countries when it comes to online shopping and e-commerce. <coughs> Yeah, when we go back to the JAD, uh, as I said, we, we want to use what, what is there. We want to integrate other extensions. We want to communicate with other extensions. We want to, want to work together with other extensions. Uh, there, here are some examples of ideas. There are much, much more uh, ideas uh, possible. But uh, just for, for, for an example, as I said, the CCKs, there are a lot, a lot more CCKs you can use to build an e-commerce uh, system. A uh, bit, bit deeper, there, there's a new version of Sobi, very famous uh, directory component. <laughs> uh, and Sobi has so much features, and the, the new version is so powerful when it comes to templating and, and configuration features and so on, uh, that you can build nearly everything that was with it and when you combine this with the power of e-commerce you can do a lot of stuff with Sobi for example we could also create very easy uh, multi-vendor shops what always was was a, a nasty feature in virtual mart but never worked cor uh, correctly 
but uh, with with Sobi in uh, in combination with uh, with uh, this e-commerce solution, um, it's it's possible and it's there. <coughs> Yeah, for example, Dogman, uh, Virtumart uh, had a, a download uh, shop feature, but that that was very limited. We also built uh, most most of our download shops with Dogman because we liked the features uh, it has. Now you can just add the the um, the e-commerce features to Dogman, and you have a download shop directly in in Dogman with all of the. Uh, groups and licenses and, and uh, categories you, you can use in Dogman. For example, forum. It's not a not a usual uh, thing you think of when you, when you think of e-commerce, but that's something that's also possible. Why not add uh, to when when you click on new thread, uh, add a button, um, pay 20 euros, and and get an answer within six hours or so, and then the the thread becomes a product. Why not? And for example, Virtumart. <laughs> uh, I'm coming from Virtumart. I know Virtumart quite good, I think. And uh, of course, we we know that there are thousands of Virtumart shops out there. And uh, yes, there will be a Virtumart 2.0 version, uh, but it's difficult to migrate with the with the views and the templates and themes and so on. Um, we've built a set of plugins. Um, that uh, can work with the Virtumart data, with the Virtumart orders, products, and so on. And you could use uh, Virtumart 1.1.x, uh, starting from 1.1.4 actually, uh, with this new e-commerce extension. And you can use the features you want, and you can get bigger, or get, use more and more and more, and leave Virtumart uh, more and more. And so it's 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 a soft migration, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, switching from Virtumart to something else. And that's one of the things I always thought when you, uh, or, or the shop owner has to decide to uh, upgrade Virtumart and has to spend a lot of money for it because everything must have been, must be done new. Then he starts thinking as a normal, uh, um, normal decision when, when, when you have to invest something, uh, when I have to take money, uh, is there something better? And then they look around and find the one or other e-commerce system and maybe they, they, they switch. That's not good for Virtumart and uh, that's uh, one, uh, one reason why we've built this. <clears throat> Another thing, just to show you, uh, that it really doesn't matter where the data has to come from, uh, or where, where the data can come from. Um, it's not the JAD, but it's also possible. Uh, that's a screenshot from the Google Documents. You can drive your webshot completely from Google Documents. You can store your products in the Google Spreadsheets and the, the orders are pushed back to Google Spreadsheets. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of our customers love spreadsheets, and that's uh, a horrible thing to work with when 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 you have to import, export, and uh, the, the data in Virtual or also other systems. <coughs> yeah. And yeah, to what does this lead? In our opinion, it does lead to unlimited flexibility, new opportunity, new opportunities, and most important, to new ideas for e-commerce, because you can build. A lot of things with with uh, Joomla and this system. Yeah, how is it done? First, the interaction with with other components. Uh, this with this simple line, uh, you can make a, a component that is MVC. I have to admit, uh, uh, you, you can make an e-commerce system out of it. This this uh, build command. Uh, Calls, uh, calls the e-commerce system that, that runs in the background of Joomla and tells, tells it to show the Add to Cart button. And not only the Add to Cart button, um, it shows everything you have configured uh, for, the, for, for this extension you're just working with. And an important other thi uh, another thing that is important is the params parameter is an array where you can override everything, everything that comes in, in, the, in the whole uh, in, in the whole process after that, you, you, can, you can override it in, in this params array. So you can add logic to your, to your own extension um, to, to, make it, to, ma to make it more flexible, individual, uh, um, 
handling or whatever. They can uh, just the most important params are of course uh, the template to use and so on. When when there's nothing, it's always a default set which is used. But uh, you can also say that there are, uh, that there should be different templates or or whatever. <coughs> When, when it comes to this, uh, this command, uh, oh no, not every line. Uh, okay, this is just a short list what, what is done when, when, this, when this command is called. Uh, only, only the short version. It checks, of course, if, if the, the card is, is active, it checks the components or the cache com components for any rules that, that are there and loads, loads the, the product object into, into, uh, into memory and checks if there are any other things uh, he have to, has to look for, customer type, if there is enough uh, uh, Pro, uh, are enough products available, if the weather is fine or whatever. And uh, it loads the, the add to cart template, or plug in, uh, which is uh, configured by plugin or parameter, and renders all the stuff, and renders the price template. This is a very important thing. We don't just deliver one price, we, we give the, uh, the, uh, the complete price object with all different options you have in the price, discounted price, uh, quantity prices, prices for different groups, and so on. So you can decide if you say on the on the browse pages in virtual mode wording, uh, uh, price starting at five euros, and it's it's just the the, the quantity uh, quantity price, and so on. You can decide what what to show. And when you say nothing, it's always the base price that is uh, that is used by by all these uh, all the available available parameters. <coughs> Yes, then the, the add to cart block is displayed. And uh, yeah, that's the most important thing in every, in every step. And there are much more than this. You can, you can add code, you can add features, you can reorder features, you can decide what, what shall be done what, and, what, and what not. That's, uh, that's the most important thing. And there's a uh, quite intelligent uh, system behind that. We learned also from, from other, other PHP projects. Uh, for example, some of you might know uh, Code Igniter. They have a smart way, it's a PHP framework. Um, they have a smart way uh, to override and extend the, the existing core, um, core classes. This is similar to that what we are doing. Uh, we, we, have a, we have a structure for, for all the uh, actions uh, you need for an e-commerce system and you can build a plug-in where you, where you just add the, the structure you need and extend uh, the stuff you need and what you don't extend use the basic uh, or the default, default settings. <coughs> Also, okay, what I said, uh, the params over, uh, parameter can override everything on, in the following progress, uh, process. Uh, okay, not everyone wants to, wants to edit or add uh, functionality to this extension or to the views or overrides. Uh, it can also be called through a plugin system and you can add all the parameters in the, in the, uh, in the plugin string. And uh, with this, it is uh, possible um, to, to create uh, a small shop when you're selling three different t-shirts, you need com content and add uh, three descriptions, three images and add this, uh, this, this plugin and you have a shop. You can sell these three t-shirts without doing anything difficult. This is something uh, everybody who ever used a plugin uh, could, could do and every, every other thing is there or everything else. Yeah, uh, that's uh, when we now come to, to the data. Uh, it's a bit more complex, of course, because uh, data is, as I said, the most important thing. Uh, um, we, we describe the data in a, in a plug-in set. When I talk about the Sobi example, there, there is an, uh, an extend or, or plug-in that describes uh, how to access the Sobi data. 
And when, we, when I talk about document, uh, there is a plugin that describes how to access the document data, and then not only how to access the data, also what to do with the data, and what to do after the, uh, uh, during the checkout and after the checkout and so on. For example, in document, we normally uh, create um, download shops by adding the user when he's paid to, 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 to a document group that allows him to download uh, the files in the group. That's uh, uh, very simple in document, and that's something you could add in this, into this plugin. We've made a document plugin that's just 150 lines of code that does everything that makes document a real full featured e commerce system. <coughs> and uh, yes, you can also use uh, these, uh, these extension com combined. You can uh, have Sobi for, for t shirts, document as a download shop, and something else for, for, for or Com events for for uh, yes trainings you sell to, and all these run together because in in the background um, the the technical part is that every it's it's not the PHP namespaces but it's something similar. Uh, all the plugins are, are captured in in the in the name area of the of the component, so it all works together. But when you want to search for products and you have different uh, components holding the products, uh, you don't want to search three times, of course. Uh, so we have an internal search model uh, that, that uh, puts it all together and uh, different caching features, what I want to show later. Um, the search model is very important because it not only is important for the search itself, it is also also important for for uh, category listings and so on, because we uh, put together an own table that is never seen to the to the end user or the, the end, end user might never see that, um, which has very much adva or, or advantages. Uh, um, against the, the standard Joomla search, for example, we built uh, from the from the plugins you install for the extensions. Um, we built uh, a, a search table with word lists and rankings and so on that can be used with a standard PHP search in in, in Joomla, but is which which uh, and, and with full text index in MySQL, so you can use match against and it's still fast. And uh, it also can be used for in professional search engine engines like, uh, for example, Lucene. If anybody knows that, <coughs> it's uh, and that's that's very powerful because when you get bigger, you can use more stuff uh, on your server. Yeah, uh, the 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 whole system is extended by uh, default Joomla plugins. You install uh, a plugin for for this card system exactly the normal way that you you install a Joomla plugin. Um, and within the plugins, uh, you have the the option to extend uh, functionality, to describe data, to add functionality, to add workflows, to reorder workflows, and so on. And uh, you can uh, and you can also disable uh, features uh, if you, you you just have to use what you want to use. <coughs> uh, yes, you may say plugins are slowly or could be slowly. Uh, normally, when you just once call a plugin, it's not really slow. But uh, when you think of a, a category page with 150 products and you say, "Okay, I have 20 product plugins and they have to be run." Uh, 150 times it could maybe slow down your system um, but uh, we are aware of that and that's not what we do uh, the plugins normally when you build an e-commerce system or a shop system uh, are not you are, are not changed hourly or daily normally you have your system and and you from time to time you add functionality these plugins uh, can be cached. It's uh, the, the plugin manager knows the, the most of most of the of the um, uh, basic functions you, you have to add to the to the plugins and can cache these features. And the, they they are cached in different ways: uh, functionality, but most of it data, of course, so that the plugins are not called 150 times when you uh, when you um, show a page. And of course, you can define what is cacheable and what not. When by default, for example, the product name uh, of, a, of a product description um, is cacheable, well, because we set it to cacheable, and you say no, it should be rendered or generated every time a product is called, then you just say no. <coughs> yeah, the most important key points 
is uh, that we wanted to build a secure e-commerce extension not to, uh, that, that divides, uh, provides a basic feature set. We, we don't, with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the extension that, that we offer, uh, we don't want to make everything that, 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 that could be anybody think of uh, in, in, in terms of e-commerce. It's a basic feature set. <coughs> and it can be extended in nearly every way by standard Joomla plugins, and that's uh, where, where the shop builder comes in and he has the option to make a shop the way he wants and he, uh, the way he has offered it to the, to the shop owner. Um, through that it is extremely scalable. What you don't need is not installed and doesn't run on your server. If you, uh, in, as I said, in, uh, you, need, you take home content and sell three products, you don't have any, any plugins that, 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 that you use. It, it's very fast and you can, it, it can run it on the smallest uh, web server. And, but if you have uh, a shop where you have thousands of customers, uh, 20 different customer groups, uh, prices for different countries, d d difficult uh, pricing systems with uh, discounts and uh, whatever you, think, you can think of, and uh, products you only, you, you only show to different types or you have age verification, whatever. Uh, then, of course, you have a large set of plugins and, of course, the server has to do a bit more than that. Uh, that's, uh, uh, anybody can, can think of that, but um, that's, uh, that's what we think is, is scalable and when, you, when you're doing more and when you want more and when you uh, are selling more and you have more traffic, uh, then you can grow with, with, this, uh, with this system. Uh, yes, great scalable intelligent, intelligent search and caching and most important, what I said, uh, it does what you want and uh, that's uh, the most important thing always in mind. Uh, what we saw yet was m most of it the technical part for the shop builders and uh, I, you, you could not show that to, the, to a shop owner who wants to download an e-commerce system and play around a bit uh, to, to build his shop. Uh, that's the, uh, the other part of the system. Um, uh, we, we can create uh, is, uh, an installable package of all the plugins and all the things we, 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 we have uh, put together for, for, a, for a shop and reuse that. We can sell it, for example, we uh, have in mind, and that's what we surely want to do, uh, to create shops especially for different branches. If you think of, for example, print shops, uh, they have different products, completely different products uh, than a t-shirt shop or, or um, a spare parts shop or whatever. They are uh, with, with very technical detail, details and so on. They're completely different and so you as a shop builder uh, can put together plugins and, and, and uh, themes and everything and make it a set and, and this is a product, this is your print shop. You can sell it and you can give it away or whatever and uh, th this is for the end user. And um, what uh, makes, makes it more comfortable to, to uh, address different, different kinds of end users. And, uh, where we are now is uh, that we are unfortunately one or two months before public release. Uh, I really hoped that I could say it is a public release, in, but uh, by the end of this month we go live with, uh, with three uh, large um, shops uh, built on the system and uh, after that the uh, what you can call it release candidate will be, will be available and uh, uh, then we have to see how much problems there will be and uh, when we go we can, we can use it really on, for, for uh, production sites and so on. And uh, we call our 1.0 release the shop builder release of course. Uh, as I said it's more technical approach at the moment and of course uh, the system has to grow with available plugins. <coughs> as long as there are no plugins uh, this is just a very uh, dumb uh, system that lies in the background of, of Joomla and just can do some basic e-commerce stuff. Um, yes, uh, supported extensions when we, when we have the, the public release will be Sobi of course. 
maybe not the whole Sobe stuff, but uh, <laughs> we have to discuss this. Uh, Zoo, K2, Dogman, the virtual mart 1.1 uh, stuff I, I told you, and uh, com content example, Kunina Ninja board, and uh, this uh, Google Spreadsheets. I've added this last week because I thought it was funny to use Google Spreadsheets as a uh, shopping cart database. And uh, um, the, uh, I, didn't know, I don't know if I said this, uh, but of course all the country settings are also plugins. Uh, uh, they're, they're, you, you can add plugins for, for, for countries where all the stuff of the country, legal stuff and so on, is, is in there. And we, we have created uh, Germany uh, and the uh, European Union and US and one international where, where mo uh, most of the default settings are in. Um, yeah, payment plugins is a very important uh, thing. Uh, that we also said, why uh, do all these e-commerce things have different payment uh, plugins? Um, yeah, we take, took, took a look at the Tienda uh, plugins, and they were easy to integrate. So uh, we are pay compatible with uh, Tienda payment pay, payment pay, pay, payment plugins, and. Uh, Maybe uh, there will be a payment plugin for, for this system that Tienda can use then also. <coughs> and shipping, uh, there will be the, the normal weight dimension zone shipping, uh, uh, then plus added value for insurance and so on, and a basic UPS uh, module. And as I said, I hope that uh, that it will grow with, with the, with the uh, plugins once the system is stable. Uh, we will, of course, uh, write plugins as much we can do. Uh, but um, it is also uh, it would be also great when when the, when they could build a, uh, when we could build a community of shop shop builders who uh, also build um, plugins. And we uh, have a feature where we can. Um, uh, sell, or, or you, you, not only sell, you can uh, give or, or release the, the plugins, or even sell the plugins uh, to, to the shop owners. And <coughs> um, in an, yeah, like Apple it would, uh, would call it, an in app uh, 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 function. So the uh, shop owner has his list of, of uh, plugins in his administration, clicks on a button, uh, says, um, country plug-in for, for Canada cost 12 euro 50 uh, by now and then he has the, uh, the plug-in installed and the PayPal payment goes to the developer with a little uh, commission for the um, system of course uh, but these things uh, make it, make it, should make it very very easy for the for the shop owner to to add features when, when he needs them and uh, should build an e-commerce uh, or, or, a, or a, yes, a, a whole um, system around it, where you can where you can uh, offer your own extensions, where you can uh, create extensions and so on, and bu uh, build them for the for the customers. <coughs> yes, get access. It's a bit difficult at the moment. Not uh, it's not really possible to uh, to, to access this. Um, you can, <coughs> we have a very simple page at the moment for it. Uh, you can subscribe to the newsletter and uh, we will inform you when there is um, uh, a public release or, or even the uh, release candidate. And in the next one or two weeks, uh, this site will be filled with more information and also videos uh, about things that we are doing there. And uh, Yes, I hope that, that it is interesting for the one or other shop builder and maybe another reason to uh, think of Joomla as an e-commerce basis um, when, uh, when there is a decision of a shop, build, uh, shop owner. Yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to show you right now. <coughs> um, as I said, unfortunately, uh, there is nothing live at the moment. But uh, I hope you have, uh, yeah, could could get the idea about what uh, what different approach we have in, in this e-commerce uh, when 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 we want to uh, build an e-commerce system. And yes, if you have any questions now, I'm happy to answer them. Yes.